OK, so we're just going to get to grips with using modifiers in photo and how they can affect the behavior of certain tools. So we're going to jump straight in with a great example. I'm going to pick up the paintbrush tool here. Now, by default, the brush width is quite small and also we have a hardness of 80%. Now, changing these usually involves going up to the context toolbar up here and modifying the values like so. But a great way to do this quickly and intuitively is to hold down the control and alt or option key and then simply click drag. Now, if you click drag to the right, that increases the brush width, dragging left decreases the width, dragging up decreases the brush hardness and dragging down increases the hardness. Okay, so that's just a very quick and easy way of modifying those two brush properties. Now, when we're using a lot of tools, the Alt or Option key here usually does the reverse of what we're usually doing with the tool. So let's show an example of this. We'll pick up the Selection Brush tool here, and I'm just going to click, drag to create a selection over these rocks here. Now, if I wanted to remove areas from the selection, I would typically have to change the mode to subtract up here. But rather than having to do this every time we wanted to change the mode of the brush, we'll stick with add and instead we'll just hold down that alt or option modifier key and click drag and you'll see we're removing now from the selection. Like so. And the great thing is, if you're ever in any doubt about what these modifier keys do for your current tool, you can always refer to the tooltip down here where it will list all of your modifier options. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and deselect the selection I've created. Now, if we go back into the paintbrush tool for a minute, Another really quick modifier we can use is to hold down, once again, the Alt or Option key and click drag on our document. And you'll see we've activated the Color Picker tool. So you can drag around the document to find a color you want to sample. And then when you release the mouse button, that color is automatically assigned to your current color palette. Again, if we have the dodge and burn tools as an example here. Once again, I'll use the control alt or option modifier to increase the brush width like so. Now at the moment, if I just change the tonal range to highlights, we could be, for example, doing some highlight tonal dodging. Very subtle. But if we want to switch to burning the tonal detail, we would usually have to select the Burn Brush tool. However, if we stay on the Dodge Brush tool, we can instead hold down the Alt or Option modifier. And this will then burn rather than dodge. So just as a general rule of thumb, when we're dealing with tools that have additive and subtractive operations, Alt or Option usually does the reverse of what the tool is typically doing. OK, so just to cap this off, we'll look at how the modifiers affect quick shapes. So we'll access the quick shapes flyout here, and I'll go ahead and select the rectangle tool. Then I can just click drag out on the document to begin creating the rectangle. Now then, at this point, here's where the modifiers come into play. So if I just hold down the shift key, that will constrain the aspect ratio of the rectangle. You can see here, I can click and drag all I want. It will maintain this shape. I can let go of the modifier and I'm back to how I was before. If I hold down the command key, this will enable me to create a quick shape from the point where I started dragging. So that is essentially the center point. So if I just 
create this rectangle. I'll go ahead and start down here just to give you a better idea. So this time I'm going to start by holding the command key, then click dragging out, and it will create the quick shape from that point. So in addition then, if I reach across and hold the shift key down as well, I'm not only creating a quick shape from the center point, I'm also constraining the aspect ratio. I can let go of both of these to return to normal. Holding down the Alt or Option key stops the quick shape from snapping if you happen to have that active. So here you'll see it's snapping to the edges of my previous rectangle. If I hold down the Alt or Option key, it disables that. Okay, I'll just go ahead and delete these rectangles and we're back to our original image. So there we go, just a brief overview of modifiers and hopefully a bit of live footage information to give you an idea of how you can actually use them and how you can, of course, use more than one modifier at a time. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask on the official Affinity forums and don't forget to check out the other video tutorials. Thank you for watching.